today's video I used a new product which is this right here I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it like wildflower here on the YT um, I'm usually not a L'Oreal fan especially a foundation but because it, I just saw it everywhere on YouTube I decided to give it a try so I'm just going to tell you guys my thoughts and my opinions on this foundation you're probably going to hear and see my daughter in the background she is not taking a nap she is right here see right there <laughs> so you're probably going to see her jumping up on the bed behind me you're probably going to hear her in the background i do apologize but i couldn't get her to stay in her room and watch tv she wanted to be in here with mommy so this is what life is like with children especially little itty bitties and little divas so I decided to just add in a little demo footage of me using the foundation. Right now I have just applied the foundation to my face. I use my finger. I just put a little bit of the foundation on the back of my hand and use my finger to apply it to my face. And now I am using a Real Techniques cosmetic sponge or a beauty sponge or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just using that to spread the product around. And, um, kind of yeah, spread it around onto my face and blend it out and make sure it's just evenly distributed across my face on my skin and I'm just going back in and blending it out and if you guys are interested in seeing my final thoughts on this foundation be sure to stay tuned and finish off the video L'Oreal girl I tried the true match and I just was not a fan of it whatsoever I love Maybelline foundation so I wasn't too sure how I would feel about this but because people are just going crazy about it here on YouTube I decided to give it a try um, I am the shade 211 cream cafe um, I'm just going to tell you what this foundation boasts to do it is supposed to be a radiant finish It's supposed to have 24 hour up to 24 hour wear or staying powder power is supposed to be medium coverage and it's supposed to be an air light -like texture you're supposed to shake it really good before you apply it both times I forgot to shake it before I applied it bad girl bad girl so <laughs> make sure you shake it well before you apply it and I it does have a um, uh, broad pers broad spectrum SPF of 15 it's radiant finish for normal to dry skin and it's supposed to be a hydrating foundation so I have applied this foundation because I am combination skin but I really only dry out around the corners of my mouth which is just so weird and disgusting and I also tend to dry out right in between my eyebrows and sometimes in my cheek area the rest of my face is extremely oily so when I'm going for a foundation, I like to go for something that's supposed to be matte. I like something that's going to combat the natural oils that my skin produces. So, um, anytime I'm wearing a foundation, no matter what it's supposed to do, no matter what it boasts to do, I always prime my face. Um, I always prime my face. I always set my concealer with powders, with my Ben Nye powders, the banana and the topaz. And so that's just what I'm going to do regardless. I don't care what the foundation is supposed to do. I'm always going to prime my face and I'm always going to set my concealer. Look at this little busy body back here. So that's what I'm going to do regardless. I don't care. So with this foundation, I did use my Becca um, Perfecting Primer. And um, I also set my face with powder. Um, I've only been wearing this. Now. I just put this foundation on, but I have worn it before in the past worn this foundation before so I can tell you the the time I wore before I probably wore it for about uh, two to three hours and it did not get super oily it did look a little glowy was a little radiant it did have just a little bit of a glow but like I said I only wore it for about two to three hours I do not wear foundation for 24 hours I usually don't go over about five hours in foundation but um I like it I think it's um, medium to full coverage. Maybe if you build it more, you get more coverage. I did color correct. I always color correct because I'm really dark. My skin is darker around my mouth. So I always color correct. I do have a couple of dark spots. So I did color correct. I feel like I feel like this foundation makes my skin look flawless. I mean, I like it. I will wear it again. Even though I am not a L'Oreal fan, I probably will never try the Infallible Pro Matte. 
I probably will never try it because I'm pretty happy with the other matte foundations that I have. The Maybelline Soft or Dream Velvet or whatever the matte, whatever the one is that I have the video on on my channel that just came out this summer, I think. I love that foundation. That is, uh, I, that's my ride to die right there. So I won't be trying the Infallible Pro Matte, but I like this. I think this is good. Um, so far, so good. I'm satisfied with it. I'm glad that I picked it up. Um, the shade matched really well. At first, it doesn't look like it's the right shade. It looks too light. But once I go in and offset it with the contour, and I think once it sets in, it does a pretty good job. It, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty decent. So I'm happy with this foundation. If you have been thinking about picking it up, I say go pick it up. You can get it from Walmart for about $10. So, if you guys have tried the foundation, if you have tried either foundation that I've talked about in this video, the Maybelline or the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, comment down below. And even if you tried, and of course, if you tried this foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, comment down below. Let me know what your experiences were and what you felt about the foundation. So, hi you guys. I am back. And I am back with just a little check-in so you guys can see um what the foundation looks like i've been wearing it for about an hour and a half and i did have to run out to walmart so i was out in the sweltering heat is it sweltering or sweltering whatever i was out in that extreme heat it's like 100 degrees today i think when i was inside the truck it was like 101 but i don't know that could be a little incorrect but I definitely look a little dewy, a little oily. I feel like I'm not that oily, just just a little dewy, a little glowy. Um, and that's just after an hour and a half, but I was out and I could feel my face perspiring and sweating, especially up in this area, because it was just extremely hot. So, um, I don't know. You can tell for yourself. You can look at it and see for yourself. It doesn't look that oily to me. I mean, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Of course, I haven't blotted or anything. I haven't applied any more. I haven't uh, taken off any. I have done absolutely nothing since you last saw me. So, all in all, I still think it's a pretty decent foundation. I have to say that I would wear this again. Um, yeah. I'll probably be throwing out that L'Oreal True Match because that was just crappy to me. But I really like this one. This definitely will be gracing my face yet again in the near future probably. Um, so yeah, I like it. This is the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. Um, I don't see this being up to 24 hour wear. I mean it probably could be if you blot and yeah if you blot if you're not that oily like if you're a dry girl if you're a dry skinner <laughs> if you're a dry skinner this might not be so bad for you but because i am an oily skin girl i'm an oily girl i don't think this would be a 24 hour thing i think i'd be looking like a straight up grease ball after about 10 hours but thus far i like it it's been an hour and a half maybe two hours so it's it's, it's, it's worth it to me. Um, I would say go give it a try if you're curious. If you ain't curious, then hey, do what you need to do. And yeah, I, I'm looking at my lip situation. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippy in the shade More Better. This is a really pretty pink purple. If you guys are interested in looking at the tutorial for this, then just stay tuned. It will be coming really soon. It may come before this video. It may come after just depends it'll probably come after because i want to go ahead and get this up while this is fairly new so thank you guys for watching and if you enjoyed make sure that you rate comment and subscribe and share because sharing is caring and i need you guys to show your support and thank you guys so much for watching to all my old viewers and subscribers thank you for coming back into my new viewers and subscribers thank you for clicking on the video and i hope you stay with me along on this ride thank you guys so much for watching and until next time be beautiful